Hello, uh, this is Don Howe from Divine Healing Ministries in Belfast, and I'm now going to interview Robin Tweed, who is from Larn. And I'm just going to invite Robin to join me, and uh, I'm going to ask him some questions. So thanks for joining me, Robin. Good to see you. I'm uh, looking forward to chatting with you and asking a few questions. So the first question, Robin, is tell us about yourself and how long you have become a Christian. Thank you, Don. I was blessed to grow up in a Christian home, learning about Jesus from my earliest days. As a young teenager through Crusader class and Scripture Union, I realized my need to accept Christ for myself and made public profession of my faith in the Lord Jesus. It was a real joy to go on to encourage younger Christians in their faith as we reached out to our school community. I then studied law at Queen's University Belfast and was part of Christian Union and other Christian groups at the university, sharing my love of Jesus with other students. Following marriage to Janet, we were guided by God to join First Larne Presbyterian Church. God blessed us with four wonderful children. And as Christian parents, we shared Jesus with our family as they grew and developed. Okay. Oh, my God, to serve as an elder over 35 years uh, ago, I've been involved in a wide variety of Christian ministries, leading youth groups, Bible study and prayer groups, and promoting mission engagement and opportunities for service. I currently serve as clerk of session of First Line Congregation, helping to lead our people in worship, service, and outreach. And so over those, these past 50 years as a Christian, I've had wonderful opportunity to see God work powerfully through his Holy Spirit, drawing people to himself and transforming lives in his service. Thank you very much. Uh, excellent. So the second question is, how did you get involved with interdenominational divine healing ministries? Thank you, Don. Um, I've known of the work of Brother David and of the interdenominational divine healing ministries for many years. I've often prayed for God's healing and wholeness, including during past pastoral visits to members of our congregation. And so it was a real joy when around three years ago, a good friend, Robert Alexander, shared with me the possibility of commencing an interdenominational ministry of divine healing in our local community here in Lahr. I was delighted to join with Robert in a group of around 15 people from churches and fellowships in our area for training by divine healing ministries. Since then, Don, I've had the privilege of leading a number of our healing services in local churches and seeing God at work in our community. That's, that's great. Thank you very much. And the last question I want to ask you is, what would you say to people listening to encourage them to consider a divine healing ministry in their local area? I'm passionate about Christ and his kingdom and the challenge of sharing God's love in word and in deed with our local community. Over these past two and a half years of bi-monthly healing services, God has blessed, guided, and molded our team closely together. We meet regularly as a team to pray and plan before each service. And our local services have been so wonderfully supported by members of the Divine Healing Ministries team in Belfast that we never feel that we are in any way different or out on our own here in our local community. Through God's amazing grace, he has allowed us to witness remarkable healings and to hear glowing testimony from those whose lives he has touched. I can give a few examples, but there are many. One young lady, severely weakened after surgery for a serious brain injury, shared about her complete healing and full return to a demanding job following healing prayer. In another situation, the Holy Spirit enabled someone attending one of our healing services for the very first time, following prayer and the laying on of hands, to recommit their life to the Lord. 
and we gave thanks that day for a life renewed and turned to Christ. I can think of an older Christian lady who came asking for prayer for healing from debilitating pains that were not responding to strong pain-killing drugs. She now praises God that following prayer and anointing with oil, she has become totally pain-free, God having wonderfully healed her. Praise his name. It's such a privilege to be involved in this ministry that I would encourage each one listening to pray for God's guidance, to speak to other Christians locally and those at Divine Healing Ministries, and to work together to establish an interdenominational Divine Healing Ministry in your local area. That's, uh, that's fantastic. Thank you very much. Um, you mentioned that you wanted to say a few words, uh, further words. Yes, indeed. Um, there are some words of Jesus that uh, I would pass on to those who might be interested in exploring divine healing ministry in your local area. Often challenges seem, um, seem too big for us. There's a wonderful verse, and I just referred to it there um, in, in uh, Luke chapter 18. Uh, Luke chapter 18, verse 27. What is impossible with man is possible for God. Well, there's another verse, let me just turn to that, in John 14. John 14, 13, I will do whatever you ask in my name. And just in the following chapter, again, words of Jesus, if you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be given you. Amen. And thank you, Don. No problem. That's excellent. Thank you for, for your, much for your time. And uh, just let me finish in a prayer. Yes. Father God, we thank you for this time together, Lord, and we pray that you will bless the Lauren Church's Divine Healing Ministry team, the 15 people involved at the moment, Lord. We thank you for, for all their service, and we pray, Lord, as the days and months and years go ahead, Lord, that you will bless them and see many people come to Jesus, see many people healed. We pray these things in Jesus' wonderful, mighty name. Amen. Amen. All right, Robin, thank you. Thank you very much, Don. I hope that will be useful.